comrades, so you're watching the, the Overland the Van Lifestyle way and I am in the middle of nowhere and this is why But before I tell you why I need to walk these little guys. They had a very very long road yesterday Very long Poor little guys. I'm gonna walk you right now Well, I can't let both of them out in the grass. I'll take them in the grass in a little bit so for now they'll just play here and they really wanted to get out of a cage yeah buddy say hello <laughs> all right guys chill enjoy what's up there you go taking turns with the guys i locked the other guy here just like this for now there you go let this guy roam around because he's chill the other guy is hyper so this is much easier with this guy yeah this is a pretty good place for uh for a little overnight stay it's not bad at all just off a little dirt road path no one's here it's exactly what i was looking for because uh for all my trips so far i've avoided using walmart parking lots or staying anywhere in the city like that uh, that's just gonna ruin the trips for me oh the place is definitely absolutely awesome i could totally chill here for like just a day <laughs> you know if i wasn't on a schedule and didn't need places to be like actually overlanding for like a year or two full time i would just stay here for a day whatever good enough Misha. Misha. Oi. <laughs> i'm not using the right name muscat <clears throat> they don't respond to the calls i didn't train them well enough but still, it's a little noise, something to attract attention. He is totally digging it. One thing about this area is uh, it's got wasps. Right, little guy? Yeah, you're chilling. All right, so here's the deal. 10.30 uh, p.m. I was supposed to arrive at the state campground. I arrived. They were gates are blocked so uh, no late nights after 10 no no late reservations or whatever late arrivals after 10 uh which is not like many other state parks <clears throat> there's been quite a few state parks i stayed in like overflow uh camping areas before uh on on the coast so this is a little different anyway so i started looking oh okay let's go rv park I went to nearby not a, not specifically RV, the one that allows tenting as well. That one was closed. No late arrivals as well. I'm like, okay, this is already 11:30, and uh, in the Olympia area, there is not a whole lot of on my camping RV app. I Overlander app has nothing whatsoever. Well, Wild Spots has nothing. Unofficial sites uh, or official sites. So yeah, it looks pretty much same campground. So. I'm out of options and to drive to the coast, you know, I'm not gonna arrive at like 3 a.m. or something. Uh, I needed to crash sleep. So what I did is I opened up and here is where having lots of mapping tools, mapping app options helps. I have maps.me, I have uh, Google, uh, I have Gaia, I have Garmin. Uh, so all of them, well, except for Gaia all of them are offline pre-downloaded for every everywhere where I'm gonna travel uh, plus some options the Gaia one only downloaded the uh, long tracks for Oregon discovery routes that's about it and then I have for any kind of camping maps.me awesome sometimes too for any kind of camping I have iOverlander app and all stays camp and RV combination of the two helped me so many times before in my previous trips uh, but also this time Google saved me 
in particular Google Satellite View. So, of course, if I didn't have connection uh, in this area, I wouldn't be able to do it. But because for Google, you can only pre download uh, non satellite view, and in non satellite view, it's hard to tell what the hell the road is where you are. So, what I did, I popped a satellite view, connection wasn't uh, as good, but scouting area for like half an hour, just sitting there, kind of like okay, I tried one approach one area that seemed from satellite view like it's a uh, some kind of forestry road something some i was looking for any kind of dead end uh to some kind of a road and that turned out to be gated and some kind of official thing actually in there so i'm like i'm out of options it's uh, it's pretty much 12 30 already i need to eat still i'm not even gonna bother uh, processing video uh, so i found the, like a patch of land on the satellite view and here i am I uh, actually entered it. Awesome. And this right now prompted me to finally register at iOverlander app and input my first location. Because, again, in Olympia area, in this sort of transitional mid-ground, there is nothing. Nothing at all indicated on iOverlander app. And I'm like, there's probably people in the same situation as me, you know looking for a spot to stay here so I posted some pictures description that it is actually a very nice place like you could totally just camp out here for like a day wild camping uh, just chill you know it's so quiet no noises just nature everywhere guy troublemaker he needs a color there's no way I'm letting him out here without a color so he just walked he's gonna be chill so he's gonna jump because I know you're a jumper all right fine go roam around go 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 Aren't they freaking cute? These guys are so cute. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. So I'm gonna pack it up with these guys and I need to stop at Walmart. I want to buy the clamp gun and also I need to stop at pet store, buy more food for them. I didn't take much because of border crossing. And also, oh yeah, grocery outlet, some cheap jerky. What else? Yeah, pretty much it. I'm gonna, I guess, start heading or head right away to Oyster City uh, on, or not Oyster, Oysterville, near Ocean City on Washington coast. All right, so I'm the proud owner right now of this uh, clam gun. It's aluminum, not stainless steel. Stainless steel was a uh, hundred bucks US. I'm like, eh, I don't want to spend it. Plus, uh, besides this trip, I'm not sure how often I'm gonna be using this. I stopped at uh, Cabela's, never been to it, awesome store, it's like a mega store for everything sports goods, so uh, I think we actually have one location in Vancouver as well, anyway, so I got this and a couple of bait fins, like uh, squid finnies, uh, some weights that I've been missing, uh, just for further fishing, uh, I have a bunch of lures, so I should be okay, that's it, I refueled, I stocked up at grocery outlet for some jerky but to last for the next three weeks. Yeah, it's expensive, like 100 bucks. But uh, I got something like 25 packs, like ridiculous number of jerky and a few other things. Uh, some canned food. Yeah, I should be good to go pretty much. I don't need to do much shopping any longer. Just maybe occasional fast food, something, or maybe like local restaurant in Oregon, like clam chowder, this kind of thing hit the road. Two hours and I should be there. <coughs> a little guy drinking water. Hello. Yeah, I have a bowl for them over there, but uh, on the road it keeps uh, sliding around. So I'm gonna have to come up with something when I'm driving, like uh, strap it with zip ties or something.
Well, to celebrate arrival on the shore, I stopped at Brady's uh, Oyster Feed. They got plenty of seafood and I'm getting two dozens of oysters, uh, 12 bucks each dozen, so 12, a dollar each. Converted to Canadian, that's about dollar uh, thirty per piece. Uh, not the super fresh one from the sea, that superstore and whatever we get it for about dollar uh, fifty nine Canadian. So it's still cheaper. And plus, this stuff is fresh. It's guaranteed that every oyster is going to be very nice. And there is actually I'm picking up three giant oysters, two dollars each. I've never seen anything like this. It's they're absolutely ginormous. There's the store. Yeah, all kind of goodies. Maybe in some other secret store later I'll try something else. But yeah, here's a, just to put in perspective, this is my hand. It's very bigger than my hand, almost twice. And the guy is just throwing up my stuff. Here's some smaller ones, but the giant ones are on the bottom. Yeah, they're not the greatest size, but good enough. Yeah, some are bigger. Anyway, they're fresh, so awesome. Oh, this stuff is heavy. So, it costed me 30 bucks. That's two dozen oysters and uh, three giant ones. So in case parking on the beach doesn't work out, I'm gonna check out State Park right now. Yeah, it's a backup. Uh, if I have space, I can always go and be there. I don't know. It's an option. Alright, at this point I'm not sure if I can camp here or not. I see cars far, far away, there and here. So I'm actually gonna ask Ranger. Uh, I saw them back there. Just ask Ranger if I can... Uh... What are you doing? Hmm? Are you, are you filming us or yourself? I'm filming myself. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure, man. You're looking pretty sketchy. You look sketchy. Uh, some lady came running like, oh, you filming us, uh, whatever. Uh, I don't know, some hippies or something like that. Uh, so anyway, talk to the ranger and uh, no camping on anywhere in the Washington beaches, supposedly, because all the beaches are managed by uh, uh, state parks. Uh, even though like designated spots I see on the map are only a few. Even Long Beach uh, by Oceanside, you can't camp there either. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick to campgrounds, if they're open. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is check out uh, State Park right now. I thought I'm actually coming to State Park, but I, I guess I missed a turn. So, book a place. I, I don't want to drive more today down south, whatever. It's like, may as well pay money, stay, chill. So, book a place, hopefully they do have something. And come back here and munch in some oyster or something like that. So, this would be... Grayland Beach State Park and hopefully this becomes my home for today That just now was 40 American dollars campground. Holy that's 60 Canadian uh, Well, not holy like I'm two years ago on a road trip before the whole overlanding thing I've stayed in some campgrounds. I remember yeah, like 30, 30 35 bucks and so on uh, It gets cheaper all those state parks and uh, as you go more interior like Arizona, you know, all those middle states. But yeah, 60 bucks a night. That's why I overlander app, my pre scouted satellite uh, locations. There is no way I'm staying in state. Like, sure, first day, it's fine, but I'm, yeah, this is ridiculous. This is a, a guess, uh, this is more than half a tank for me. Uh, I'm not doing this BS. But. Whatever, I need to clean up, we'll just, just chill. I need to kind of plan things, do a little bit of editing, munch on oysters, walk with ferrets, just, just take it easy, basically. Campgrounds, nothing fancy, just lots of uh, sort of cul-de-sac-y areas. 
you know, people on top of each other. Not the ideal camping by any means. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, a bunch of cul de sacs like that. And because I'm already in vacation mode, I'm not even counting which uh, day of the week it is. Apparently, it's Saturday. So, I got lucky actually. Someone canceled the reservation, and uh, that's the on the spot they had available, and I got it. Uh, okay, right here. This is my spot. Right here. Right there. That's me. But I'm not gonna go here, so I'm gonna head to the beach. It's actually a little chilly and windy. I dropped my camping spot pin. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep driving over there, see what's out there. Oh, just a bunch of people basically camping. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna park somewhere with my back towards the water and just uh, chill. I just scouted uh, the shore here. Not a whole lot of climbing holes, so we'll see. So these guys gathering yeah, uh, sand shrimp, and that's actually a good idea. They're using clam gun uh, and the showed it's like the size of my uh, like this this big I'm definitely gonna use it as a bait it's actually quite chilly I think I'm gonna wear my hoodie uh, it's somewhere around probably 16 18 right now so I just tried uh, my clam gun works amazing uh, I did uh, dig out uh, like one little clam, well I didn't eat it or whatever, just as a test. It, uh, well, it's not a climbing area here and I don't have license yet, uh, some other days, well, probably start it tomorrow, I'll purchase a license. Uh, but, while I'm here, I'm like, hey, may as well eat some oysters and check this out, one of the three giant oysters, so these are normal ones. And look at the size of that one. There is no way you can do it in one slurp, it's two slurps. So I'm gonna get busy doing that. There it's first steps on the beach. Muscat, how do you like the beach, huh? Little guy. Yeah, freaked out. I bet you are. <laughs> oh yeah, now I know. Uh, people actually told me just uh, here I'm at. Uh, California, there it's not allowed. So good to know. Couple of states, so California, no. Muscat, 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 Muscat. Oh, so good, I don't have to like really chase them, I can just let them roam around and poop. So I finished those oysters and it's gonna be a moment of truth tonight. I think I ate 8 plus 9, that is giant one. Raw, of course, because they're tasty that way, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get sick or not, because uh, two, no, a weekend ago. When I took them up mountain uh, from Superstore, I did get sick. Not the, not the next day, the day after that, uh, for two days. Uh, it could be it could have been oysters, maybe it could have been something else I ate. Because it wasn't right next day, it was the day after the next, so I, I, I'm not sure. He's trying to jump up, I think he's a little bit cold. Actually, when I just took him out, he was sleeping and uh, he's like, Started shivering. They're too domesticated. Oh, oh, no. I think he's going into or trying to go into engine bay. Are you cold, guy? Are you cold? Let's go. Let's go, little guy. Or maybe you want poo poo. You want poo poo or you just cold? Here. There you 
Milo. Just no poopo. He's escaping the water. Run! 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 <laughs> run, little one. Oh, I just put him in there. I didn't realize the water would be so uh, coming so close. Fun. See, I'm not sure if he's tired or if he's a little sick. Just did a little walkie walkie, and uh, I don't know. I didn't know what he wanted. He wanted to just lie down, maybe. What do you want, guy? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? Scratching, you're scratching. Oh, clumsy. You're clumsy. Uh, look at this guy sleeping. Yeah. What are you doing here? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, come here. <laughs> come Well, tide is coming in, so I guess I better start moving. But I still can't get enough of these guys, they're so cute. Even though I had them for five years, I still get charmed by cuteness. Yeah, yeah, flippy head. It's uh, it's actually normal for them to chill. Uh, they sleep about 18 hours a day, generally. Well, had to stop by, uh, help this gentleman with front wheel drive. Uh, took a while, five minutes, I need proper amount. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. You need to dig uh, like, so, yeah, so the, the pins are kind of a little bit under. Yeah. Like there needs to be a little bit more traction, right? So like actually dig in front so you stick it under. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have any hitch mount or anything like that. Oh, well, this is BS. I come to my spot, there is a RV over there. I come out, I'm like, uh, what's up? And they show they have same number on their ticket on that thing. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, so I came back to the office and office is closed till... F it's open till 4. So there is no, there are no rangers now. Um, 
I guess I'll have to sleep on the parking lot or something. Um, and if they come by, well, well, in the morning basically I'm gonna be uh, asking for a refund because this is bullshit. <laughs> it's some kind of mess up in their system. So anyway, yeah, I'll get my money back because and we'll camp here on the parking lot somewhere. Too bad. But whatever, I don't, I don't care, I just need a place to park, really. It doesn't matter if it's campground spot or parking lot spot, I could care less. Like, as long as I'm not in the city, in some bad neighborhood, uh, Walmart parking, I could, seriously could care less. So I'm at parking lot. It's kind of convenient uh, to the washrooms and garbage. And whatever, I just deployed here, packed everything, left windows open for ferrets a little bit. And uh, this is where I'm gonna sleep today. Yeah, there you go. So, oysters, garbage bucket, I'll empty it over there. Uh, yeah, this is my oyster knife that I got. Pretty awesome. But holy, it's bending quite a bit. Yeah, just uh, watching Netflix. With my like sticker over there. That's my uh, setup. Uh, Cozy. It's pretty nice. Anyway, till tomorrow. See ya. Well, I hope you liked this episode and if you did, you can support me by uh, hitting the like button and subscribe and also check out my previous videos uh, by hitting the links below or just after this video.